and today we are going to be making Halloween bark. Now I know that sounds really weird. I'm sure um, some of you have had this before, but maybe you didn't know that's what it was called. But this is Halloween candy bark, and we're going to show you how to make it, and I'm going to insert a picture here. See that picture right there? That shows you what it's going to look like in the end. However, we are changing a few different things uh, to our personal tastes. And you can do the same for your recipe. So yeah, let's get started and show them what they're going to need, Mom. Okay, let me come over. Cool. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of the way so Mom can show you what you need. Okay, so here's what you're going to need. Now, we changed up the recipe a little bit, so the ingredients are not exactly the same as what you saw in the picture that Lammy just showed you, but that's because Lammy and I do not like white chocolate that much, right Lammy? Yeah, I don't like it that much. So anyway, we decided to go ahead and get milk chocolate. So our uh, candy bark is gonna be darker because of the chocolate. So we got a bag of these. And uh, you can get any brand you want. We just preferred milk chocolate. You could get white chocolate. You could get dark chocolate. You could even get butterscotch or something like that if you wanted. But we got milk chocolate. And then we have this bag of candy corn, just traditional classic candy corn. We also have this bowl of uh, pretzel sticks, which are going to break into little pieces later on. We also have this little thing of sprinkles. So this is Halloween colored sprinkles. And this is a lot of fun. We found this um, in the baking aisle. These are little eyeballs. So uh, little candy eyeballs that you can eat. So we got those. Any of this can be purchased at a grocery store, Target, Walmart, um, any stores like that. Um, these, if you can't find at your local store, you might be able to find these at some place like Michael's or a craft store. So here are the other things you're going to need. You're going to need a pan, and this one we've done is we have a little pan with some water in the bottom, and we're going to heat that up, and the water will heat this up, and that will melt our chocolate so it doesn't burn. But you could use a regular pan. Just make sure it's on low heat so the chocolate doesn't burn. Then you're also going to need a cookie sheet, just a flat cookie sheet, and over it we have placed wax paper. And the reason why you need wax paper is so the candy doesn't stick to the pan. You want to be able to easily peel it up and break it apart. So you'll see that later on. So that's all the supplies you're going to need, so let's get started. So first things first, you're going to light your stove. Ours happens to be a gas stove. So you're going to light your stove to heat up the water underneath there. So let's do that first. All right, so we have our flame going, as you can see, and there is that. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna let the water underneath here start to boil. And always remember, guys, get your parents' help if you're using the stove or fire or anything that could hurt you, okay? Make sure you get your parents' help. So once that water starts to boil, then we'll be able to start. In the meantime, we're going to pour in about half of the bag of the chocolate. And this is going to slowly melt. And as it melts, we're just gonna periodically stir it. So we'll be right back once it starts to melt some. Okay, so as you can see, the chocolate is starting to melt. And you just need to make sure you put it on low heat and stir frequently. So we're going to continue to let that melt on low heat. And in the meantime, we're going to start adding the other ingredients to our cookie sheet. So what you need to do is cover a cookie sheet with the wax paper so that way it doesn't stick. And then you're going to spread all of your candy corn, your pretzels, and add whatever candy you guys want. It doesn't have to be what we have. You can add whatever you want. So I'm gonna take some of these pretzel sticks and I'm gonna break them up and just spread them on the sheet like this. So this is kind of fun. That looks like fun, Mom. It is, do you wanna do it? No. Oh, you're such a chicken. Let that one get off the stove. All right, so we just break these pieces up. Just continue to break them over the cookie sheet like this into little pieces. So if you see any you didn't break, just continue to break them. All right, and I'll be right back with the candy. All right, so also remember, don't forget to stir your chocolate. See, it's starting to turn really creamy. So I'm going to add more of the chocolate. And we're gonna let that melt. And just mix those in. All right, so we're gonna let that melt, and while that melts, we're gonna continue adding the candy to our sheet. Next is the candy corn. So the candy corn, you do not need to break up into pieces. You can just sprinkle it in like this. 
Um, I, unless you're gonna make a really huge pan of this, I would not recommend using the whole bag. I mean, I only used about a fourth of the bag or maybe half the bag. So anyway, just make sure that those are spread out, mixed in with the pretzels nice. So Lanny has decided that she only wants the candy corn, the pretzels, the chocolate, the sprinkles, and the eyeballs. So she doesn't want to add any other candy to this. Is that right, Lammy? Are you sure? Because we gotta add it now if we're going to. No, I don't want any other candy, Mom. Okay, so that's all the candy. I don't want the chocolate to get on my fur. Oh, Lammy, calm down. It's not gonna get on your fur. I have it contained over here. It's safe. So as you can see, our chocolate is a beautifully melted concoction. Haha. <laughs> yes, this is very nice. Lammy, look at that. Oh, chocolate's awesome. All right, guys, so now what we have to do is take this, we can turn off the flame because it has now melted and just stir it up just to make sure all the little pieces have melted. Then what we have to do is sprinkle this on top of what we have here. So whatever candy, pretzels, whatever you have here, you're going to spread and drizzle this on top. So I need to get a um, pot holder. We have our Tinkerbell pot holder. We're gonna get our pot holder because it is very hot. This is the reason I said that I think that your parents should help you. This is very dangerous, guys. Very hot chocolate, very hot pan. So I really want you to get your parents' help if you choose to do this, okay? So let me change the angle here so you can see better. So then what you need to do is you just drizzle the chocolate over the candy bark, okay? And there's another step after this, so you don't stop here. We're just gonna drizzle it over. Lammy, you sure you don't wanna help? No. All right. We just drizzle it over. Try to get it all around the edges and in the middle. And get out as much of the chocolate as you can onto your candy bark. All right guys, next step, you can use a spatula or you can use a brush that you brush on barbecue sauce for barbecuing. We're gonna use the barbecue brush because I think we'll be able to get it down into the grooves a lot better than that. But if you don't have one of these, you can use a spoon, a spatula, a wooden spoon, anything you've got. And what we're gonna kinda do is you've gotta kinda brush this around so it covers most of the candy. Now the candy's gonna move around and that's fine, but we gotta brush this around and kinda mix it up with the candy like this. So see this brush is really good for getting down into the grooves of the candy. And if any of the candy gets left behind, that's okay, you can just eat it. But you'll see here how this is working. So once I get this coated, I will be right back. All right guys, so I admit that this looks like a hot mess and it would probably look better with white chocolate because then you'd be able to see the colors a little bit more of the candy corn and everything and whatever candy you decide to put in. But the fun part is before this dries, and before the chocolate settles, what you need to do is sprinkle on your Halloween colored sprinkles because this is where the color is gonna come from. This is like the decorative part, like the topping on a cake. Think of it that way. So we're gonna sprinkle all this on. You can add as much or as little as you want. I don't wanna overdo it too much. I just wanna give it a pop of color. There we go. Then comes another fun part. We're gonna add the eyeballs, the candy eyeballs that we bought. Now, if you can't find these, it's okay, but it's just an extra fun little thing when you're making Halloween candy bark. Halloween candy bark should be a little creepy, I think. So we're going to open these candy eyes, and now we are going to sprinkle them on. Now, what you should try to do when you sprinkle them on is try to make it where the, the black part, the pupil, is sticking up, because see if it faces down, you can't really see it that well. So I'm going to move some of these around so you can see the pupil on the eyeball. All right, so I'm gonna decorate with these and I'll be right back. All right, so I zoomed in so you can see what it looks like with all the decorations on it. So you've got your candy eyeballs, you've got your Halloween sprinkles, your pretzels. You could also add Oreo cookies to this or any type of cookie, any type of candy that you guys want, you could totally add. And um, what's gonna happen is, is you have to let this sit for a little while because it's gonna harden. The chocolate is gonna harden. And then what you do is you break it up into pieces and it is then Halloween candy bark. So once this sets, we'll show you how that works. 
And to speed up the setting process, we're going to put it into the refrigerator until it is set and um, it's firmed up and then we can break it apart. All right guys, so we left this in there for about a half an hour in the fridge and we took it out and now it's nice and hard. So mom's gonna break up the pieces so you can see how you can share with your family and friends. So yeah, uh, yeah, mom, do it, do it, do it, I want a piece. All right, well, get out of the frame. Mom. Okay guys, so. Here we are, it's all in one solid piece now. So if we peeled this off, see how it's one big solid piece, see that? So what you do now is you break it off in pieces like this. You just break it off in chunks. And it would probably be a good idea to keep this in the refrigerator um, so that way uh, it stays hard because if it gets warm, the chocolate's gonna start to melt. But see, you just break it off into these little, it's gonna get messy, so make sure your hands are clean. But um, you just peel, because the wax paper um, has like a film over it, so that way this stuff won't stick. That's why you need to use wax paper. And see, you just break it up into chunks, and you can put it in a bowl, keep it in the fridge, whoa. Mom! Sorry, that piece went flying. I can't get this off here. So yeah, you just break it up in chunks like that, and it'll look like this, and your hands will look like this when you're done. That's why Lammy's not doing this. And yeah, then, uh, yeah, you just eat it. Here, let me eat this. Oh, it's pretty good. Oh, it's so sweet. My goodness gracious. Oh, oh but I got a chunk of pretzel in there. All right, so let me show you what the final product looks like once it's all broken up. Alrighty guys, and then you put it in a bowl like this and you can serve it at a Halloween party or just to eat as a snack while watching scary movies or something. So yeah, here mom, put it up close so they can see it. Yeah, pretty neat, huh guys? Look at all those eyeballs, haha, <laughs> so creepy, I love it. And I had a piece and it tastes delicious. So yeah guys, that is how you make Halloween candy bark. So, have you guys ever made this recipe? Do you plan on making it? If you do, share your recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. All of my links to my accounts are down below in the description box. So yeah, be sure to subscribe. I have a couple more videos coming for the Halloween season. And uh, yeah, I've got a major sweet tooth, as you can tell, guys. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go devour this bowl. No, you're not. Oh, come on, Mom. Lanny, that is too much candy for you. No, only a little bit at a time. Oh, all right. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.